Hey, it's Nikki. Before we start the podcast, I have something special for you as a listener. Around here in the month of February at Sales Maven, it is a special month for us because we love to celebrate the important clients in our life. So I thought it would be fun to do something and extend it to the listeners this year. That means I have put together a free training for you as a listener that you can go and take advantage of it. It's all about mastering the sales conversation. This is a quick training. It's there to enhance what you're already doing now and really amplify your success in closing more business. To go watch the training, you're going to want to go to yoursalesmaven.com forward slash free training, and you can take advantage of it right now. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. And when you're ready, start the podcast. Are you ready to boost your confidence when selling so you're able to close more deals? Nikki Roush will show you how to build a foundation of skills and a mindset that creates sales success without feeling pushy or salesy and without fear of rejection. She is a sales strategist and coach with more than 25 years of sales experience and is master certified in neuro-linguistic programming. This is a radically different approach to selling. It's a no sleaze, no slime, and no stress approach to building your business. This is Sales Maven. Here's Nikki. Welcome, and thank you for listening to the Sales Maven podcast. I'm your host, Nikki Roush, and I am thrilled that you're here to spend this time with me. Thank you so much. Today's episode is a solo episode. It's just you and me, and uh, an opportunity to talk about some underutilized sales tools. Now, none of these are going to be huge shockers, and they're probably all things I've talked about a million times, but I'm bringing this into one podcast episode just in hopes that this will spur some new concepts, some new actions as a result for you. And so yeah, so let's talk about underutilized sales tools. Now, before we do that, I want to give a quick shout out to those of you who are leaving reviews and rating the podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I am so touched by these. It is so thrilling to go and see a new review that has been posted on the podcast. Thank you so much for doing that. Now, if you haven't done it yet, would you be willing? It would, uh, it means the world to me and it helps other people find their way to the podcast. It legitimizes the podcast. Um, so anyway, if you're willing to rate review the show, I would so appreciate it. And if you also are willing to share the show with somebody, I would appreciate that as well. I am just so thrilled when people share about the show. I don't know if I already shared this on the podcast. I might have shared this in an earlier episode that I got a text message from somebody who's in the Sales Maven Society. And it's somebody I've worked with for a really long time. And she had sent me a text message the other day with a picture that her boss had shared the show and encouraged her whole sales team to go and listen to one of the episodes of the podcast. Like, ah, I could not be more thrilled with that. So thank you. Um, and if I've already shared that story, then you'll know that I'm recording these podcasts uh, pretty closely together. And I can never remember what stories I share here and what stories I share in my client calls and also the stories that I share in the Sales Maven Society coaching calls. Um, you know, you probably know this in your own work. You say a lot of the same things over and over again. Yeah, that's me. All right, let's talk about underutilized sales tools. Now, this first one, again, none of these are going to be like, aha, oh my gosh, Nikki just uncovered this crazy sales tool. But the first one that I want to talk about is one that I sometimes want to bang my head on the desk. Now, if you're listening and you're a client and you think Nikki's telling this story about me, I'm probably not telling the story about you. I'm probably telling the story about you, maybe a version of you, or the other 40 clients that I've done strategy sessions with uh, in the last you know month or two. <laughs> um, but this sales tool that I find people just forget, ignore, chicken out, I don't know, but it's your calendar. Getting people scheduled on your calendar and you on theirs 
can be one of the most effective ways to ultimately earn somebody's business. So you may have heard me talk about circle back calls, and I feel like I talk about them a lot. And even people who've worked with me for a long time will say to me when I'll ask them, okay, they'll tell me about some situation, some perspective client that they're, you know, some deal that they're going to close. And I'll go, okay, so when is the circle back call scheduled? And they'll be like, what, what now? What do you mean? Uh, oh, um, I didn't do that. And that's when I want to bang my head on my, on my desk. If you are not scheduling circle back calls, you are not moving the sales process forward. You are slowing the sales process down. You're making it more difficult for the other person, the the prospect to hire you. It is so crucial to your success. Now, you might initiate to, to schedule a circle back call with somebody and they may say, no, thank you. That's their choice. In the sales process... I mean this with so much love. You don't get this choice. <laughs> you got to schedule these circle back calls. So if you're talking to a prospect and they say, I need to think about it, or they say, send me over a proposal, or let's talk about this next week, then you say, great, let's get this on our calendars now. Do you have time next Wednesday? Or what time do you have next Wednesday or Thursday? Open on your calendar. Let's schedule a time to chat you got to use your calendar and you have to utilize your client's calendar as well. Because if you don't, then you're in this place of wondering, should I follow up today? What should the message be? Or, hey, I followed up with this person three times and they haven't responded back any of the three times. And now you feel like this, what I was counting on to be a new client has ghosted. They vanished that's because you didn't make it easy. That's because you didn't utilize your calendar. That's what it's for. It's also, you know, when you're meeting people, you're speaking at events, you're at networking events, you're out and about in the community, or you talk to somebody who indicates interest in working with you in some way, offer to schedule times on your calendar to meet, to further that conversation. If you're not doing this, I guarantee you, you are leaving money on the table and you're missing out on working with some of the best possible clients. And even bigger problem is they're missing out on working with you and the result and the impact that you're going to make in their life. And I know I say this a lot. And if you've listened to the podcast, probably 10 or more episodes, you've probably now heard me say this two or three times. I cannot stress how important it is that you utilize your calendar, that you get next appointments scheduled. You don't end your current conversation with somebody without having that next step scheduled. And if you choose not to do that, if you choose not to schedule with somebody for whatever reason, the chances of them actually hiring you are so slim and, and I get this in my own business too. As a matter of fact, I had a call not too long ago with somebody who uh, uh, was a former client, was at an event and met somebody there and started talking about me and the work that we had done together and recommended that this person talk to me if she was interested in growing her sales. And we got on a call and I had a really limited amount of time and I had a very hard stop because I had a podcast interview that I had to leave the appointment for. So we were having a good discussion. She was showing a lot of interest, but she kept having questions. She kept having questions and I ran out of time. I had to end the call, but she was like, I'm definitely going to take this next step with you. I had sent her a link. I had made it as easy as I could in that moment, except I didn't get the next call scheduled the next step scheduled. I just gave her links. I gave her information on how to sign up to work with me. And I've never heard from her again. Like, and I've never been able to get back in touch. So that's my own fault because I didn't utilize my calendar. So if you're not utilizing your calendar enough, please, please make this a part of your process. 
I, I recommend to clients often like put a sticky note on your monitor that says circle back or, you know, put some kind of a note in your, if you have a script that you follow in your discovery calls, make sure you have a note at the bottom or like a step at the bottom that says circle back call or schedule the next session or whatever that next thing is. Because this is how you keep working, you know, towards the close. Or, you know, I do this even with my existing clients. When I do strategy sessions with people that buy multiple packs of strategy sessions with me, I have quite a few people that do this. They buy my strategy sessions in packages, right? So they have multiple strategy sessions. So I will do a strategy session. And at the end, I'll ask now, would you like to go ahead and schedule your next session now? Now it's up to them to choose to schedule with me now or not. But if they don't in that moment, now it takes a lot more work for them to get on the calendar versus we're both in front of our calendars. It's super easy for me to do. I can have the new calendar link sent to them before we get off the call. Like it's fast, it's easy. And it's my job to offer that. So if you're not offering that even to your existing clients, should we get your next session scheduled now? Like if they are like, well, I'll call you next week. Chances are that's not going to happen. They won't call you next week because they get busy or they forget or they have to go search for your number or whatever it is. So utilize your calendar. It's so, so important. Okay. So I have a few more underutilized sales tools that I want to talk through today. Uh, the, the next one is in the form of an invitation. <laughs> Now, you may say that's not a sales tool, but I disagree. I think it is. I think being able to issue invitations and getting the words out of your mouth for somebody to take that next step with you, it is a sales tool. This is why I teach it. This is a strategy. It's issuing that invitation to the next step. So kind of back to what I I just gave you a bunch of examples of how to issue invitations to next steps to get people on your calendar. But even issuing invitations for people to learn more, to have a cup of coffee with you or um, whatever that is. But if you're not issuing invitations and you're chickening out because you think that person will let you know if they want to take a next step with you, you're, you're making a mistake. And I'm actually going to tie this into the next tool too, which, I, which I'm calling as choice. I've been having a lot of discussions lately with clients that are telling me, you know, I'm getting on calls with people like they're following my process to uh, engage with people for, from a business development standpoint. But then when they get on the call, they're not ever issuing the invitation and therefore they're taking the choice away from the person that they're in conversation with. Because if you don't put an invitation in front of somebody, they never get to make a choice. And if you don't give people a choice, oftentimes they'll do nothing because there's no choice in front of them. So for instance, if you have an opportunity for somebody to work with you or benefit from the you know, service or the product that you provide... If you're never putting that invitation, that ability for them to make a choice, if you're deciding for the client or for the prospect because you're never actually saying, is this something you'd be interested in? Or, hey, I don't even know. And this is like the most, uh, I'm trying to think how to frame this. This is like the most um, like non-aggressive. It's almost... It's almost so, it's like the softest possible way you could offer something to somebody is to say to them, gosh, I don't even know if you would ever even consider having this conversation or if you'd ever be interested in talking about, insert whatever it is that you want to talk about, talk to them about. But if you are, I just want to put it out there that I would love to have that conversation with you. That is such a soft way to open that door. So if you feel like it's too much to say to somebody, hey, is this something you'd ever be interested in? Just say like, I don't even know 
if you would ever even consider having this conversation with me, but if you are open to it, I would love to have this conversation with you. And then you wait and you see what they say. Like notice, I'm not actually asking a question in there, but it sounds like a question and people are probably going to respond like, let's have this conversation or yeah, that's not really for me, but you know, thanks for bringing it to my awareness. Great. Now, you know, but if you never actually have any of those kind, kinds of conversations, if you never get these words out of your mouth, you are stealing choice away from people and people love to have choice. Like, don't you like for, don't you like to be the one who gets the choice do you want other people making decisions for you all the time? No. Now I feel like that's kind of a loaded question <laughs> as somebody who likes for somebody else to make decisions because I have decision fatigue like everybody else. But when it comes to somebody deciding for me, oh, Nikki would never be interested in this or Nikki would never buy this, I would much rather somebody puts the choice in front of me that I get to decline. Because by the way, when you do this, when you put choice in front of people and they get to say yes or no to it, you're essentially giving them the power. And don't most of us like to have, and maybe power is a strong word, maybe, maybe if you like the word better, control. <laughs> you're giving them control in that conversation to make their own decisions. Like, yeah, most people would like that. Most people would appreciate that. So please be willing to do that. All right, here's another underutilized sales tool. I know you've heard me talk about this before, but it's your network. It's so, so important to utilize your network and build on those relationships. And then ask favors, ask people to open doors. Now, I don't mean be like annoying and asking people over and over again for favors. But if you haven't connected with somebody recently, that maybe you'd like to work with or somebody that you did work with in the past who maybe could open a door for you, use your network. That is such a great sales tool. You know, your network you get to ride the credibility of whatever that person has with whoever it is that they're introducing you to. And I know I've talked about this on the podcast. I know actually, because I hear from listeners, some of you have implemented this and seen success and results by doing it. My clients that do it regularly will come back often and just like rave about how people open doors for them. As a matter of fact, this just happened recently in the Sales Maven Society when one of the society members reached out to me and she said, you know, thank you. I think I said something nice about her on the call as I do for my members. Like I want to highlight them as much as possible. And so somebody who was also on the call that heard me give this shout out, reached out to her and said, hey, I think you would be somebody we could collaborate with. And now they're, they're forming this potential collaborative partnership, which is awesome and exciting. And the thing was, like, how that happened is because she showed up, right? Like, I probably wouldn't have given the shout out, but she was on the call. And actually, she asked a question. So it gave her an opportunity to, I on my sales maintenance society calls, I ask my members that before they ask a question that they share about their business, like, you know, what you do and who you serve, because it helps give context to the question, not for me, because I tend to know what they do. But um, for other members who are maybe seeing them on a call for the first time, or maybe for the 10th time and haven't paid attention or didn't really understand what it was that they did. But this has allowed for people to build connection, network, partnerships, collaboration, they've gotten clients from it. But the thing is, is you have to show up. And are you showing up with your network? Are you utilizing this? Because it's a fantastic sales tool. You know, I know I did a podcast episode of like, sometimes you got to buy your seat at that table. Like you've got, but you, the thing is, is like, you can buy a ticket. You know, you can be in the sales maintenance society, but if you never show up on the live calls, 
you're probably missing out on some really amazing opportunities, hopefully teaching opportunities, learning opportunities, you know, if I'm doing my job, but also the other members. And that doesn't, I'm I'm not just talking about my program, but anybody's program that you're in or any networking groups that you participate in, if you're not showing up to the meetings, you're missing out on building your network on deepening rapport with people. So it's such an important sales tool. And I hope that you'll take this to heart. And even if you just decide, I'm going to show up to one thing this month, pick the thing that you think has some possibility for you, has potential clients in the room or has potential collaborative partners in the room and show up and see what happens because amazing things will happen. All right, the last underutilized sales tool. This is another one where I feel like I'm like beating my drum because it's one of my soapbox things. I know you've heard it from me before, but I'm just going to remind you again, because those of you who are putting it into action and reaching out to me are saying like, oh my gosh, this works. Yep, it sure does. And the last tool is your email list. Continue to build your email list and continue to put offers in front of the people on your list. If your email list doesn't know how to take a next step with you or ways to work with you, like you're missing the boat. If you haven't put an offer out to your email list since the last time you heard me talk about this, it might be time. Because <laughs> it might have been, I don't know, a couple weeks, maybe a couple months since you've listened to the podcast episodes on this. It's probably time. And if you're wondering, hmm, maybe it is time, then it is time. Put an offer out, make an invitation, put a call out, share about a program that you have or an offer that you have and invite people to it. All right. So that's the podcast today talking about underutilized sales tools. So we talked about your calendar. We talked about issuing invitations. We talked about choice, how important it is to give people choice to put opportunity in front of them so they get to be in control, they get to have the power, they get to make decisions for themselves. We talked about utilizing your network and showing up, being somebody who shows up at places and see what happens. And then last was your email list. Those are some sales tools that I just cannot like preach enough to say how many times people are overlooking these and yet these things make sales. Utilizing these things, doing these things, paying attention to these things can absolutely make a difference to your business immediately, like immediately, like today, tomorrow, by using these these things that we've talked about, these five things. All right. Now, 2022 is the year of connection. So I am sharing at the end of a podcast episode for each episode, I want to share one of my connections, somebody I recommend you connecting with, getting to know, following, taking, you know, part in uh, whatever, however it would benefit you in some way. So today's connection is Amber Holly. If you don't know Amber yet, Amber has a podcast called The Easily Distracted Entrepreneur, and she helps high achieving, easily distracted entrepreneurs with mindset and strategies to stop suffering for success. She's brilliant. She's incredibly funny. And she is so good at what she does. She has built very, very successful businesses. And she does all kinds of things in the entrepreneurial world. I met Amber years ago at a at a um, at a live event, we sat next to each other, we became, I might have shared this on the podcast, we became what we called conference besties. And uh, we have been friends ever since. Amber has been amazing in my business. She's in. Uh, she's been amazing as um, somebody who I ha- I can continue to learn from. Somebody who hooks me up with cool opportunities and recommends things for me. And we do this for each other. She's just a really great person to know. So you can find Amber at amberholly.com, and Holly is spelled H A W L E Y. But uh, I would encourage you to go listen to her podcast. She's got some really great episodes. So if you are not connected to Amber yet, she might be somebody for you to connect with. All right. And also, 
if you're not yet in the Sales Maven Society, what's stopping you? What do you need from me that would help you make that decision to come check it out, see if it's for you? We would love to have you. This really is a coaching program. I do live coaching calls twice a month for the group. You get access to a myriad of sales training courses. You also get access to me in a private group. So you feel like you always have access to ask questions and get feedback, not just from me, but also from the group. We would love to have you. You can join by going to salesmavensociety.com. And as a matter of fact, if you enter this coupon code, it's going to save you on your first month of membership. The coupon code is 47 trial. That means you're going to get your first month for only $47. So I'm taking $100 off your first month of membership. I'd love to see you in there. Come hang out with us. Come learn. Come connect. Come grow your business and grow your confidence in selling. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being here. And I would love to hear what's your takeaway? What's your action item? What are you going to do with one of these sales tools that we talked about today to help grow your business? Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening to Sales Maven. Visit us online at yoursalesmaven.com slash maven for more resources to boost your confidence and skills.